Welcome back to more Malachi Kaisen, our Dwarfs on Tour, the Immortal Empire's adventure on Total Warhammer 3 with the Thrones of Decay DLC. We continue where we left things off last time, and we are once again taking the fight to the World Walkers with our army of uh, Glum Alsgal, who's been our rune lord that has survived against the odds against the uh, World Walkers invasion. Um, time after time, he's pushed them back against the odds. Uh, we've seen the true value of the Skyhammer uh, gyro bombers as well and their bombs. They've been doing some absolutely devastating damage, clearing away a good four or five hundred or so enemies per battle. Now, the Order Resolve is going to kill off two of our units, so we are going to fight this one, see if we can take these guys out. Um, so we're drawing them all in from their settlement. That will allow us to reclaim the, uh, the lair of the Troll King if we can. So in we go. Uh, I'm streaming and hopefully recording kind of two episodes today. These will probably be the two last episodes for a little while. Right, it's not gonna be not the two last episodes of this campaign because we got we got plenty more to do with this campaign. We've got to complete all of our all of our legendary adventures with Malachi. But if you have somehow been blissfully unaware of um, kind of what's going on uh, personally for me. Um, our second child is due any moment right now. Could even happen during the stream. Who knows? Um, I might have to dash away quickly. But, um... Yeah, he's due any moment. I'm not gonna... I don't have... There's no way I can kind of really prep or pre-record a load of additional content. But what I'm hoping is that the two episodes I do today are ones that I'll be releasing... Um, staggered out over my two weeks of paternity leave that I'm going to be taking uh, the moment that uh, club heart number two uh, is born. Um, there will probably be, what I'll probably do is with these two episodes, it'll be one one a week. Uh, and I'm hoping that I'll have enough Elspeth episodes that there's one a week of, of her campaign while I'm off. And then hope, well, my hope is that'll, be, that'll take us up to four videos total. But I'm hoping I'll actually have two more from either some Man Lord stuff that I do tomorrow or um, some CK3 stuff that I can layer out with um, layer out with uh, the Malachi and Elspeth upload. So we're going to have two weeks where it's going to be sort of one video every other or every two days, pretty much. Um, and then I'll be back with a kind of medium strength schedule from the 27th of May and then back with a full full schedule, full proper schedule from the uh, 10th of June. But essentially Malachi and Elspeth will be back probably at full force from the 27th. That's the plan. Um, but just just a heads up, if you're thinking, oh, can't wait for that next Malachi episode, there will be probably a week between this episode and the next upload for you guys um, over on YouTube. Just to kind of pace out the content so you've got something to watch while I am firmly AFK. I am... Uh, I'm going to try and set myself back for a defensive position here. In fact, actually, I realize what map this is. This is the map, but reversed. We had our first epic defense against all this, these World Walker invasions. We formed up here, and they were over there. It was a lovely defense. We had a wonderful time. Um, I'm hoping I could draw them to us. Just thinking, where can I try and trap them? Where can I draw them all in to a choke point? I mean, they may not come to me because I'm the one attacking them this time, but I'm hoping with all the artillery, they will still come. I could try and pull back here because then we'd hold along that point. Let's try it because we've got the sky hammers that can go for all those sky hammers are pretty weak, so they might not be able to. But let, let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's set up like this. The sky hammer will actually immediately repair itself as well, actually. of its emergency repairs. Are they coming to us? Are they going to stay? But maybe they'll maybe they'll move when the reinforcements come on in. Let's go forward with the Rune Lord. Because I'm going to try and do my Rune of Wrath and Ruin explode on them. Just draw them to us. Let's set up defensively. If they don't take the bait...
we'll have to march to them. I could probably go harass the guys actually with the Skyhammer because they don't have any missile troops in that first force. yet though we're gonna wait for all of them to come on in if especially if we can draw them to us Shoot! get, get close ready. What does that do greater armor piercing okay enough to do it now. thinking you're going to be pretty slow you might need a spoot a rune of speed to get you back that's fine if we can draw them all in to press the attack happy days that's it come on chase me chase me That's it. Especially we can draw you guys ahead of the main body. Rune of speed. Run faster. Yes, press him because that will slow him down. Unbending. That's what we want. For the ancestors. Lovely. That's the stuff. Yes, Shield wall. drop bombs on all those guys coming in you should have them comfortably I am away. go in front of them and then fly through them all you have some marauder axe throwers there so they might and javelins so they might do some damage to us but hopefully we're about to rack up some absolutely monstrous kills one to turn it back round. One, two. We are relentless. Charge! Move now! Okay. Amazing. And how many kills is that? That is 415. Beautiful. Huge damage. Castle. 
Blast these guys with a nice explosion. Boom. Players. In the go. Ready to strike. Players, rush fast, rush fast. Run, Obama. Nothing can stop us. As we like to see. speed i think to increase everyone's attack 20 a plus 24 melee attack increase on units that have already got like 57 diabolical boom watch their attacks grow beautiful 81 on these guys that'll finish him Imagine if that restock restock their bombs somehow, that would be insane. For the High King! And kill it! Attack the Earth! The clans unite! Push back! That's it. Mass route, mass break. Kazukan, Kazaki, ha! Off we go, lads. Bring him down. Get them, lads. Beautiful. Units fled. Oh, you guys. Slayers are pretty speedy. So there's no way you can catch. No. Well, they might just get in there for one more thwack. Take down the Marauder Champions, perhaps? No. Nope. Oh, they're trying to catch these guys here in front. Nice. Good on you, lads. Good on you. Close victory, but hopefully with none of the losses that we were going to face with the Order Resolve.
Um, yeah, we're going to take keep taking the replenishment, I think. Uh, I mean, I know we're short on gold, but keep taking the replenishment so we can keep reclaiming lost holds. That's the plan. Nice. Chaos Breaker. Good. I mean, yeah, if we can clear that, if we can get onto this one where we don't... And they just reckon it 50%, but we don't take the fit plus 50% upkeep for the grudge settlers. That's going to be useful. Armed and ready. Slice of victory, not losing anybody. Huzzah. The troll king's lair reclaimed. My anger burns bright. Lord of Clan Morgrim. Yeah, Grim Brindle's back on land so he can deal with stuff over here. That's all good. We definitely will take out that army. It's 2,400 grudges worth. Which is going to be rather nice. You guys are just smashing it. Um, more replenishment. Uh, physical resistance and armor. Or attack. A little bit more attack for everyone than leadership. Don't feel that's necessarily worth it. Plus 10 armor is quite nice. Physical resistance. That's pretty decent. Or Valaya. For more. I mean, we replenished pretty well already. I'm going to go for armor. Um, And then... I'm going to go for... With slowness. Yep. Nice, 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 nice. What can you, you get? Increased mobility, hand loaded, ballistic calibration. Yeah, definitely for that. That's a really nice one to have. The flash bomb's also great. Now you can have some bits, maybe. Powder maker. Stone Mason. Oh. Kidoki. Right, I think that's what we could do for this turn, right? That was our last thing to do. We've sent Malachi McKyson here to face Archeon. Uh runes. What runes could we look at? Characterines. That one's meant to be good, isn't it? The the mastery spike. You can only get one of those, right? Well, it doesn't have an X1 next to it, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming only one. <coughs> Let's get it and find out. Yeah. The Mastery of Snorri Spangle Helmet. Yeah, the plus 25, that, that's very nice as well. I'm thinking that, though, we want to pop onto um, either actually someone like Grom Brindle, who's going to be in the thick of it. Or I was thinking the Slayer King's you know who I am. son. You actually don't have any, so let's give you the Mastery of Spite. Because you'll be constantly fighting. Constantly in the action. And we can give you the, the the melee attack one as well. So yeah, we'll save up more oath gold for that. Right. Yeah, I think that's all we can do for the turn. So let's end it. The triple mohawk is strong. Yeah. Can't, can't beat the triple mohawk strike. Well, there's Elspeth moving in to take out the... Um, the vampires also looks like um, Crack kadrin has gone in. Temple Hoff in this one. It's interesting to see how the AI handles Elspeth. And actually, it's really interesting to, like, those of you guys commenting both on the streams and the comment section, how different your own campaigns are going compared to mine. So I've got a pretty decent garrison here in terms of troop numbers. <clears throat> Ugh. 
I know where we defend on this because it's the same one we had against um, the World Walkers pull back to that area there. But I don't know if that's going to be enough to deal with them all with the trolls. I will let Twitch chat decide. Should we fight this one? Or should we just take the order resolve and crack on and reclaim it later? There is a lot of nasty veterancy on those units. You're right. Uh, Twitch chat want to see it fought. So in we go. We'll employ the same tactics and strategy that we did last time we were on this map. And see if we can't overcome the enemy. Do, 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 do. What are those regiment renowned nurglings that they've got? That is a nasty selection of, uh, of regiments and how they've got not all of them. Now, last time I did this, I had all my quarrelers up on the wall, but I was not. They were too slow getting back in time. So I think this time I'm just going to keep everybody back here from the off. I think my game might have crashed. Yes. Okay. Oh, no, it's Archeon coming in for... Um, it was Kulak this time. <coughs> um, we do have some Kislevite units here. So I, I know we've got Malachi nearby, but I kind of wouldn't mind trying to fight this to whittle him down. Although we're surely going to have the same problem here. Do we need to just pull back or what? <clears throat> I guess we'll try it. Probably worth giving it a go since we've got a couple of extra Kislevite units. Okay. So jump cut in the edit. Uh, for those watching the edited recording. Uh, it game crashed when I clicked on the long beards and put them into shield wall. Uh, pretty certain it's because they were by default on a wall at the start of that battle. And I hadn't moved them off the wall. So, uh, kind of makes sense that they would crash if you tried putting them in a shield wall formation. They, they can't go to that formation on a wall. And they were on one, so that's why it locked up. We've loaded back to the autosave just before we hit end turn. Uh, but this time, this is the first battle that's that's triggered. I don't know if we'll still get that other battle at Kadak Vlag. But Archeon is pressed on in for Uzkulak. Uh, we're going to fight it, see if we can whittle him down here a little bit. So, uh, in we go. Or... Or that wasn't a crash. And in fact, it was Archeon's plan all along. He just wanted a chance to press the attack first. The forces of chaos are at work one way or another right now. The only problem with this map is we don't have such a nice defensive point to pull back to. Like that last map. We are up against less regiments renown, that's true. Well, there's still some pretty nasty veterans on some of these marauders. Yeah, was it a crash or was it just chaos hacks? I'm going to chaos dwarf uh, stronghold. So we could pull back to defend. <clears throat> we can place barricades there. Barricades there. And they'll come through the center as well. Um, or we try and hold them up by the walls. I think we're still best to pull back because the moment they get up on the walls is going to be diabolical for us. We could barricade off that way. Try and hit them from the bridges. Yeah, I'm thinking as they come across the bridges, we choke point them up. 
Yeah, let's let's just try sitting back and defending, I think. Artillery holds here. We build a oh, do you want a barricade for shooting from here? Yeah, let's go for a barricade platform on each. Um just thinking where are our towers? There's usually always one tower point at the final bit. Doesn't look like we've got it this time because those are all held by further out bits, which we are gonna end up losing. There's no final tower. Interesting. War of vengeance for the High King, Quirrellus. For the Carrot Anchor. Long beards in shield wall there and there. Have the Kislevite units here ready to hold. Three dwarf warriors back there. And then a dwarf warrior there and there in shield wall that looks good go fast forward it because we're going to be waiting for them to press the attack and come on through I look like Ragnar from Vikings thank you They're through. <laughs> Coming through that breach, they're trying to bring down the gates. Well, they're coming over here. When is the uh, War of the Rohirrim out? That's uh, end of the year, I think. Like December. I wonder if they might maybe um, add a little bit to it, like saying in memory of uh, Bernard. Um, I'm just thinking, I mean, they're going to capture these points anyway, but let's try uh, setting up some towers anyway to harass them, even temporarily. And we could put in some barricades here as well to slow them down so they've got to come a specific way and get shot. Fast forward it again. Is the grudge trying to throw fire through that wall? GG, guys. Okay, I'm just like, yeah, I'm capturing your key point. What of it? All right, mate. Yeah, we know you look shiny in all your plate armor.
Hold. Well, the hell strikes on this. Yeah, they're nasty. That tower's going to go straight down, isn't it? Yeah, that's why they're trying to take it out. But hey, they, I mean, they got some damage in, right? Ow. Gonna move those guys in to hold up and support them because they've taken some damage. Bring him down. I'm actually going to tell the garage to stop firing for now because it's just going to end up hitting my own troops. I need to do it when there's loads of them packed up behind them all. I'm hoping more of them would come up this central way. Not many have, although we are wrecking those Chaos Knights of Zinch. And the Swords of Chaos as well. So, happy days on that. That's gone alright. I'll take that. Now I'm going to be pressing the attack here. If they come here, we just back up a load of our troops to, to fire in that way, I guess. Spend your ammo. Ouch. I mean, you've got more missile resistance. In shield wall. Here we go. Got some trolls coming in. And Archie on himself. I know we haven't got the grudge thrower going, but I don't want to end up hitting my own troops. more than a bunch of, I mean the infantry is coming so we'll just have to save it a bit longer I think we need to send a unit of dwarf warriors here I don't even have a lord that can get in the fight with RK on here to try and bring him down, but damn his stats. He's living up to the ever chosen title. Brought to Yak.
Keep firing. Go, go, guys. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Darkie Armin improved. Um, he, I think he got some tweaks to him a little bit when they did the, when they did the Warriors of Chaos update with the Champions of Chaos. I mean, he's always been an absolute beast, but yeah, he remains that now as well. He'll easily carve through these guys. Which is unfortunate for us. Because all I can really do is keep throwing more troops in against him. For now, especially. Pain. I mean, we weren't going to win this one, but it's all about whittling down his army enough that Malachi can reclaim the hold or take out his army comfortably. We should have taken out his Chaos Knights, though, by the end of this, I'd have thought. Which would be good. What are my thoughts on the DLC? You know, actually, I haven't touched the, the um, free LC stuff. Um, like it's uh, Epidemus, right? I haven't, even I haven't looked at any of the Nurgle stuff yet so far. But I kind of said that that would probably be the case for me with this DLC anyway, because I was always more hyped for um, Empire and Dwarves getting some new content and some new updates than I was for uh, Nurgle content, to be honest. I will check out Nurgle once I've finished one of these campaigns, either Elspeth or... Um, Or Malachi. But yeah, for me, Empire and Dwarves are, are yeah, very solid improvements. Elspeth and Malachi, a lot of fun in this one. Um, I think the the just the, the the patch that came out alongside it 5.0 seems to be pretty solid so far. The one thing that I kind of struggle with I'm not a fan of is the Age of Reckoning system with the Dwarves um, and he's tweaking which they have already now said they're planning to tweak and improve in their in their next update we're doing some decent damage to Archeon but I don't think we're going to hold elsewhere uh oh It's the trolls. Fight to the last. We demand blood from those dwarven lakes. The problem is here we have nothing to do any massive damage to Archeon and our morale is about to go on our units, I can see. It's about to pop. We've taken out a good chunk of them though. I'm happy with that. I mean, yeah, they'll replenish up probably pretty quickly. Missile troops back because they're not doing anything against that barricade right now. No, our morale's gonna break for everyone. It's about to go down. We've tried. Disgusting stats. I'll thunder barge you into oblivion, though, Archeon. We will have our vengeance. An age of reckoning will be brought down upon thee.
Thanks, brave warriors of Kislev, for fighting nearly to the last there. Lost 442. 